Now you would say that's not right. What makes one PRP kit better than the other? Why does one kit produce a higher concentration than others? I thought the main factor is the volume of the blood process and the use of a double spin. Yeah, Andreas, uh, lots of different variables uh, can impact and affect the way uh, PRP kits function. Uh, so that's everything from the method of isolation um, to the input volume, uh, to the centrifuge speed, uh, and everything in between. The PRP kits are vastly different in what they can achieve um, based on largely their design um, and how that design is supposed to interact with the volume of blood and how that's supposed to interact with the centrifuge speed and the steps that you go through in order to isolate. So for example, um, the average platelet isolation efficiency for a PRP kit is about 40%. That means that only about four out of 10 platelets is concentrated, six out of 10 is thrown away. Now you would say that's nuts, right? You, why would you do that? Um, the predicate we used for the Regenix kit could isolate 70%. So that's much, much better. Now you're only throwing away three out of the 10 platelets. And our Regenix kit got to about 85%, which is, better, which is about as good as it gets. Um, so as you can see there, are huge differences just based on uh, platelet isolation efficiency, i.e. Uh, keeping and concentrating platelets versus throwing them down the drain.